Hey guys, it's Jessica Hayes. This week I have for you the brand new Too Faced Matte Melted Liquid Lipsticks. You guys know I'm an absolute sucker for every single liquid matte lipstick that ever comes out. So when I saw that these were coming out, I was so excited. I actually purchased these when I was on vacation. I was checking Trend Mood site every single day just to double check that they didn't go on sale while I was on vacation and of course they did. So yes, I arrived home to this pretty little bundle. So I did collect all of the permanent shades that are going to be in this Too Faced line. So if you guys want to see swatches of the entire collection as well as a little review at the end, keep watching.
So that was all 16 of the new Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. There are actually two more shades in the range. One is exclusive to Too Faced and the other is exclusive to Sephora VIB. So I didn't actually pick those ones up. So the 16 that you've seen in this video are the 16 that are gonna be permanent and ongoing at Sephora stores. So my thoughts on these lipsticks, holy crap balls, these are amazing. This is definitely going to be a second place, actually a tie for the Kat Von D ones for me. I'm glad that finally a bigger brand is bringing out a really great and comfortable, long lasting liquid matte lipstick. And True Faced is one of my favorite cruelty free brands as well, so I'm just, Aesthetic that this range is out now. So the feel of these ones, I would say they're pretty comparable to the Kat Von D colors with opacity and the consistency of the color. The comfort on them is what gives them a big thumbs up over quite a lot of other liquid lipsticks that I have tried. The packaging, I really like how not a lot comes out when you pull the product out. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe these ones will be good for someone that's a beginner with liquid lipsticks. They are comfortable, but they definitely are still on the dry and matte side. So if you are someone that hates really matte feeling lipsticks, then these definitely are not for you. If you want something that's more of like a matte look with that liquidy kind of feel, I would definitely suggest the Tarte Tartus lip paints. These ones definitely do wear off if you're going to eat oily things, as do most liquid lipsticks because oil removes makeup it's just logic but these are also more of that thinner comfortable consistency so if you do reapply with these ones they don't get super cakey or get like dry and balled up and all weird so these ones are great for reapplying because yes they will definitely come off if you eat something oily from the center of the lips. Some favorites for me in the range, I definitely love this one that I have on right now, Evil Twin. When you look at it in the packaging, it looks like a really deep dark burgundy berry, but when it's on, it definitely feels closer to black without being too black. Sometimes I will put on a black lipstick and it's like got more of that bluish undertone and it just, this is just more of a flattering, deep, dark, berry black. Another one that I really liked was Queen Bee. This one is a pretty close dupe to Dose of Colors Stone. It's just a really wearable light pink that has more of that cool, ashy undertone. This one, Cool Girl, is that nude that everyone is loving right now. So kind of a dupe for Kat Von D Bow and Arrow or Black Moon Cosmetics Libra. And of course, I love this bad boy. I am a sucker for a brown lip right now. So Naughty by Nature. I feel like this one's gonna be pretty similar to the Kylie chocolate brown lip that she has. This one, Who's Zoom and Who? I really liked this one. This is gotta be a pretty good dupe for the Kat Von D Echo liquid lipstick. Echo for me didn't really go on very consistently. Um, it was a little bit patchy and this one went on like a freaking dream. Just some other things to touch on. The smell, it doesn't really have that much of a smell so it wasn't offensive but it wasn't super yummy at the same time either. I'm definitely loving the boxing, the packaging for these ones. It kind of has like a a velvety kind of finish to it. Also the actual tube is like a nice sleek design. The applicator isn't too long so I feel like you get more of a control of the product. The doe foot in it is great but sometimes I like those ones that the bristles are a little bit longer. I don't know why. I just feel like it applies the color a lot easier but also with these I feel like not a lot of product comes out very quickly. So this is good for helping with over application. If you put too much of these liquid lipsticks on, they kind of get a little cakey, bowly and dry. Do not over apply this liquid lipstick or any liquid lipstick at all. So yes, at 21 bucks a pop, these are a huge yes, yes, yes for me. I do love my indie brand liquid lipsticks, but I also love to just be able to pop into Sephora and grab one very quickly if I need to as well. So yeah, thumbs up on the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks for me. Oh, side note, 
the names are just a little bit silly not quite as silly as the new Tarte ones but I don't know if I want to be telling anyone that my red lipstick is called Lady Balls. I hope this lip swatch video was helpful for you guys to decide on which liquid lipsticks that you might want to pick up from the new Too Faced range. I'll make sure I leave a link to Sephora below that you can purchase these. Let me know in the comments below if you have tried these products and you love them and what your favorite color is. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for lots more liquid lipstick swatch videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching guys. Bye! this <laughs>